demonstrator from the scenic rim in Queensland and I'm finally home and finally back on here to actually share with you some awesome brand new products that we have in our new catalog coming up. So I've been away, I've been missing in action and there's been a reason for that. I've had many, many things that I've been up to. I've been around the countryside. Um, I have honestly covered many, many kilometers. So one week I was in Melbourne, the next week I was eight and a half hours south and inland of where I live um, and I only got home yesterday. So it's been a pretty full on time. So you may be thinking, where in the world have you been? If you um, feel like you've forgotten about me, because I have been missing in action for about two weeks. So um, I do apologize and I know that we were having a great time with my crafty sessions every morning and I will be back in the swing of things again tomorrow. I only just got home yesterday afternoon late after traveling for eight and a half hours non-stop traveling to get back home yesterday and I thought I was coming home Sunday until when I arrived I ended up finding out that the show that I was going to I went to a music festival and the music festival that I was going to um, it didn't end until 4 30 on Sunday afternoon and I thought I was going to be driving home all of Sunday so I do apologize and I didn't really have time to message anybody yesterday or put a post up because I was too busy driving I left home I left where we were staying at 6 30 a.m which was New South Wales time which in my Queensland time is 5 30 a.m and I drove all the time until um, just after 3 p.m. yesterday afternoon. And the worst part was the last three hours, it was miserable, drizzling rain and horrible driving conditions. And it was probably the worst bit of road that I had to travel on. And of course it rained for the worst bit of the road. So um, it took me a little bit to get myself back together again um, and to be able to jump on here. So this afternoon, I'm actually going to show you brand new product from the new catalog that is coming in um, May this year. So you may think, why are you showing something that's coming in May? Because the thing is, we're actually able to order as demonstrators, we're able to order next month. And I'm gonna tell you how you can actually get your hands on this product earlier than waiting until May. Because like May is a long time to wait for these awesome brand new products. So um, I have been away at our annual onstage event. Um, the music festival, Anne, was at Gunnada. So inland about um, 30, 40 minutes from Tamworth, so in, inland. Um, so I had to travel from Bow Desert to Warwick and then from Warwick to Tenerfield, um, Glen Ennis, Armadale, Tamworth, and then Gunnada. So it was a fair, fair distance away. So hello and welcome everyone. I'm so excited to be actually back here with you again. I've missed, I've missed my crafty chats. I've missed my crafty hangout with all of you. So first of all, I actually flew off to Melbourne. So wow, what, what date was that? Not Thursday last week, but Thursday the week before. I flew out and went to Melbourne for our onstage event. So it's a Stampin' Up! only onstage event. It's our yearly convention, which was super, super awesome. And it was so awesome to be able to meet people in person, catch up with people in person, meet team members of mine that I've known for years but never met them in person. So it was awesome to be able to hang out with team members in Melbourne. Um, so I stayed for three nights in Melbourne. I flew down there Thursday, stayed Thursday night, Friday night and Saturday night and flew home Sunday. Um, by the time I got home, 2.30 Sunday afternoon, I packed my bus um, my motorhome and took off at 6.30 the next morning and drove eight hours to get to where mum and dad were and spent seven days with them, so seven nights with them, and then I drove home yesterday. So I've, that's why I've been missing in action. I've been getting around the countryside but having a lovely time. It's awesome to get to spend time with my parents who uh, my dad is 81, my mum is 80, and I don't know whether you've seen any of the videos, but my dad got on a horse. So the person that was actually doing the music festival organized for my dad to actually have a ride on a horse because my dad 
as a younger person, um, as a child and as a young adult, used to do, he used to ride horses and do show jumping in the shows. Um, and so he hasn't been on a horse for 40 plus years, maybe 50 plus years, I don't know. Um, so it's been a long, long time since he'd been up on the back of a horse. Uh, and so Rex that was holding the music festival, he actually organised a man to bring his horse and for dad to get up and ride a horse again. And it was so awesome. I've actually never seen my father ride a horse. So it was really, really nice to be able to see him get up on a horse. And he's, um, he, he's got things on his bucket list because he's 81 years of age. He's got things on his bucket list of things that he wants to do. And one of the things that he said, before I die, I want to get back up on a horse again and go for a horse ride. Um, and so the men that organised the music festival actually organised for him to ride this horse. And it was so awesome to see Dad up on a horse. He looked at home and comfortable in the saddle, I can tell you. He he actually had, the, the grin on his face was amazing. My brother then said, now we just got to get him on a motorbike. And then um, my daughter wants to get him in a go-kart. So there's all these things that, that the family wants him to do. Um, and he's having a ball. Like he's, and just to see the look on his face when he got up on the back of that horse was priceless. So, and I've got the videos to prove it. And he has watched those videos over and over again. So those times with your parents when they're that age are precious. And I can honestly tell you, each and every moment that I'm going to be able to spend with my family, my, my parents, I'm going to spend the time with my parents. So um, yeah, it was so the, the people that run the music festival are absolutely amazing. Um, and they are so friendly. They're such a lovely family. And they're so friendly. Yes, that was my dad, Sheila, singing in the video, yes. Um, so my dad, I took a couple of videos of dad singing. He has sang ever since he was a young child as well. Apparently when he was, before he was even 10 year old, I think he got his first guitar. Someone bought him a guitar and he's played guitar and he sang our whole entire life. So when we used to go camping on the riverbank, he used to sing with a guitar around the campfires and we've grown up with music in our life, um, our whole entire life. And he's always sang. Uh, one of the things on his bucket list when he retired, when he was 70, when he turned 70, he wanted to actually be walk-up artists at the music festivals. And he's travelled around for the last 11 years doing that. He's even been a paid artist at some of the music shows. Um, I will be going to another music show next year at the end of April at a place called Bogabri, which is very close to Gunnedah. So it's going to be the same amount of travelling. I, I think it's a little bit less to go to Bogabri than what it is to Gunnedah. Um, but I have a team member that actually lives in Bogabri and they do what they call a drover's camp in. So, um, and she actually wants me to do some card classes and things at this drover's camp in for all of the ladies that go to the thing. So um, she's a team member of mine and we've been trying to coordinate it. And we've looked at when my incentive trip is next year um, because I've already earned the incentive trip for next year. So we've looked at it and I don't actually have to be overseas until the 13th of May and theirs is the last week in April. So it looks like I might be able to coordinate that next year and actually spend some time with mum and dad. And dad's actually a paid artist at that show um, he's been a paid artist the last two years running at that show so um, yeah it's really great so they do a couple of days of walk-up artists and then they have the main show which they have some paid artists that do it and dad's actually been at the Gunnedah show he's been a paid artist twice I think um, yeah um, Christine said her dad taught himself to play the mouth organ and the accordion but couldn't read music but could play anything but yeah my father is exactly the same Christine he can't read music physically cannot read music. He's played guitar his whole life. Um, and and physically he and he even taught himself to play. We I used to play the organ. I was actually taught to play the organ as a child. And he even taught himself how to play the organ just by ear. And people that are talented like that, um, yeah, people that are talented like that, it's a real talent to be able to play music by ear. Um, yeah, it is cool, Janice. Janice said that it's cool that dad gets to do what he loves. And it is, he loves singing and he and to be able to ride the the um the the horse was really, really awesome. Where is Muddy Muddy Music Festival in August? Where is that? Um where's where's Muddy Muddy? Give me, Deborah, give me an idea of where that is. Is it Victoria somewhere? 
Um, so yeah, I've been around a bit for the last couple of days. But anyway, I've got new product. It's been sitting in my house for like a week and I haven't been home. It's been killing me that I've actually been away and I knew I had new product sitting on my doorstep. I actually had a friend of mine take it inside, so it wasn't sitting out on the doorstep. But um, can you play the guitar and sing too? No, I can't, Marilyn. I, I mean, put it this way. I don't think I would be very good at playing a guitar and definitely not a singer that needs a microphone. I can sing without a microphone. They just don't want to give me a microphone. <laughs> On near Broken Hill. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm actually going to try traveling around to some in the Queensland area. So there is another one in Crow's Nest in um, June. And I think I'm probably going to go to that one and we're going to incorporate some horse riding with that as well because my daughter wants to go horse riding and there's a place that actually does horse riding at Crow's Nest, which is, um, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes or so from Toowoomba, somewhere like that. So, um, yes, um, Sheila's saying the same thing. She treasures every moment with her dad and he's 90 and it's so very special to have him. And I'm thinking the same thing. I've got a dad that's 81, I've got a mum that's 80 and it is, it's precious to still have them in our lives. So, um, and yeah, every, every moment that I get an opportunity, I will be taking off and I will be, um, yeah, I will be spending the time with my dad. The Crafty Cat is in the house, so I just want to let you know the Crafty Cat has been travelling around with me. So Theo actually came on the trip with me. So Theo came to Gunnedah with me. So he's been travelling around too. So we've both been out and about, but he's back. And I think we're both glad that we're home. <laughs> it's nice to get back home and into your surroundings again. But the Crafty Cat is in the house, Margaret, so he is here. Um, so anyway, let's get to business. I mean, you want to see brand new product, don't you? You want to see the cover of the brand new catalog because I can't show you inside, but I can show you the cover. Um, so, oh my God, your mum is 94, Lorraine. Oh, that's such an awesome age. Um, it must be so nice to still have your mum. Yep, it, it is. It's precious. Um, your step passed this year. At 101, Glenda, wow. <laughs> and could not understand why he was still here. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, 101, wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, anyway, so let's get to um, having a look at this catalogue. So, I mean, behind me, I don't know whether you can see, no, no. Um, I have a pile of things here behind me. So I have a pile, have a box of product. I didn't order everything. Everyone says, did you order everything on the PPP? And the, and that stands for product purchase premiere. No, I didn't because I didn't have the funds to order everything. I would have loved to have ordered everything, but I ordered things that I knew that I was definitely going to use. Um, and we have pre-order coming up next month. So pre-order, um, where are we? Pre-order starts on the 2nd of April. So if you like what I show you today, if you join my team on the 2nd of April or during April, you're able to put any of these products. I'm nearly positive that the product purchase premiere list is the pre-order list out of the catalogue. So um, you will, yeah, you will have the opportunity to be able to put these into a starter kit. Now, I just want to talk to you about um, the on-stage event before we actually get into that. So the on-stage event was a three-day event that we had, and it's where Stampin' Up! celebrate all of our accomplishments that we've done throughout the Stampin' Up! year. Um, we get to do stage walks. We get to play with brand new products. We get to see the brand new catalogue. We got the brand new catalogue, which is here. It's in my sneaky little hand. I'm going to show you the brand new in colours today. So I'm going to just show you the things that I've actually ordered. Um, now, I've been with Stampin' Up! for eight years and I've, I've been asked this story the whole time that I was away um, with um, my parents. I've been asked the story of what do you do? Um, how how are you earning these trips? What do you do? So I just wanted to explain a little bit about my journey with Stampin' Up! and how special Stampin' Up! has been in my life. Your mother died at 99 and one month in 2022. 99 is a huge age to get to, Marilyn. That is such a huge milestone to get to. Um, the pre-order list on the demonstrator site, um, I don't think it's available just yet. You'll find that the pre-order list will probably go up. Um, 
at the time when we're allowed to order. So it'll probably go up at the time. And it'll be, um, Christine, as a demonstrator, when you log into your demonstrator website on the 2nd of April, you will see all the pre-order stuff. Like it will it will all come up as pre-order. Um, so um, at the moment, I'm positive that we don't have a pre-order list. Quote me if I'm wrong, if someone else out there knows, but I've been missing in action for so long, I haven't actually been into the demonstrator portal to see. But I'm positive that we don't have a pre-order list just yet, and I'm thinking that it will go up. I doubt whether they will put it up until the day that we actually are allowed to pre-order, and that list will come up in the – but, I mean, at the time, you'll get a complimentary catalogue, so you'll be able to go through your catalogue and have a look. Um, now, if there's anyone that wants to get on a catalogue list, please feel free to send me a text message. You'll see my phone number in the um, description of this video or in the show more box down below on YouTube. Please feel free to send me um, your mailing address. I would be more than happy to order a catalogue and get it sent out to you. I won't be getting my catalogues until pre-order starts, so I'm not able to order the catalogues until the 2nd of April, and then I have to wait for them to actually get in um, my hot little hands and then be able to get them out to you. So it will take maybe one or two weeks for the turnaround for me to be able to do it by the time it actually gets to me and then by the time I actually get to send them out to you. Um, so please, if you're interested in the catalogue, please don't put it in the comments here because it's very hard. It gets lost in the comments. Please either personal message me. Uh, the best thing to do is text me on my phone. It is way better to text me on my phone because I don't lose those messages. If you do a messenger message or if you do an email, they get lost. So please send me a text message on my mobile phone if you are wishing for a catalog. All of the customers that have ordered in the last six months with me, they will automatically be sent a catalog. I go through only back six months. If you haven't ordered in six months, then your name will not be on my list. So um, if you want to be on the list and you want to place a, a small order, by all means, go for it. We actually have the last chance products um that are going to go live on the 9th of um, April. So on the 9th of April, we have our clear out end of year sale. So there will be things that are going to be retiring and they will actually be, um, some things are up to 60% off. So that will actually start on the 9th of April. So if you actually place an order with me during um, that, like from now until the 9th of April, um, then um, you will automatically go into that list as well. All right, so let's take a quick look at the catalogue cover. Now, everyone um, has mixed emotions about this catalogue cover. Um, apparently, the, um, the demographic of this, that more younger people actually thought it was a great catalogue cover. Older people, not so much, but younger people, definitely. There's been a bit of controversy. And you know what? It's time to change. You know, every now and then we get a change. The whole layout of this catalogue is totally different. The whole layout is depending on your crafting experience that you're looking for is what section you look in the catalogue. So it's going to take a little bit for us to get used to it. But I can tell you there are some awesome products. So you're going to see a sneak peek of all of these products that I have purchased. And um, I'm telling you, you're going to love it. So if you are a customer and you are looking at these products and you actually want to get them and you don't want to wait until May, because May's a long time away, um, you can actually get them in April in a starter kit. All right. In colours. This is one of the first things that interest everybody when we have a brand new annual catalog the five new in colors now look at the names of these colors we've got peach pie we've got petunia pop we've got pretty in pink we've got shy shamrock and we've got summer splash now out of these colors how I can explain, if you've been around Stampin' Up! for a while, you will remember some of the colours that we've had. Now, two of these scream out from some of our retiring in colours that we had. This one here looks very much like Grapefruit Grove that we have. Now, at the same time, we had Call Me Clover, which was a green that we had. So these two colors, I think, are very, very similar. So if you were around when we had Grapefruit Grove, Call Me Clover, Blueberry Bushel has come back. So that's actually one that's come back. We've already got that in our color revamp. But these two colors, to me, look very very similar to Grapefruit Grove and um, Call Me Clover, but they're called Peach Pie and Shy Shamrock. Now, this colour here, I know that when we lost Pink Pirouette, 
pink pirouette was a color that everybody loved it was a beautiful baby pink this one here is very similar to that pink pirouette so i'm thinking that it's very close to that type of color um and i think it's definitely a color that we were needing um in our color petunia pop I don't think there's been anything like Petunia Pop, like not in my time with Stampin' Up, um, but it's a gorgeous um, a mauvey, purpley, pinky colour. Um, so it's it's very, very different. So um, And then we've got the Summer Splash, which I think looks a bit of a mixture between Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay, a colour in between, I think. Um, but beautiful colours and the, the ribbons that come with it, they're gorgeous. Um, it is absolutely um, stunning, these brand new colours. Um, so we got to experience that. There was a big ribbon wall. Um, now, I, I just want to show you because I know that you all call me the bow lady from Bow Desert. I just want to see if I can come up with the um picture of the ribbon wall here we go okay so i'm just going to show you this on my phone because um there was the ribbon wall so endless ribbon and i thought that this was a perfect picture to take because you all know what i'm like i love ribbon i love tying bows and so i thought to myself this is a wall that i need in my house what do you think I mean, give me the thumbs up if you think that this is definitely a wall that I should have in my house because you all know what I'm like with ribbon. When it comes to ribbon, I am physically, I'm I'm just a sucker for ribbon. I really am. So, um, so it was um, a, a really, really fun time. Let me see if I can find another picture. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is I did have a picture of my stage walk. Okay, so we can see if we can get that to, okay, it's best that way. All right, so this was celebrating my achievements. So um, there was a little bit of a mishap when we were at on stage. When we were doing our stage walks, for some reason they missed my name off the list. And it's a little bit hard to believe because I'm number two demonstrator in Australia. I am recognized in all four categories number one in leadership um number two in team building number two in sales and number two overall so um so to make it up they actually did a stage walk for me on the friday night just for me so um um they realized that there was a mistake that had happened and so they did a stage walk so i actually got a special stage walk on my own i mean i was a little bit devastated when it happened but you know they tried to do everything to to make up for it but it's really really nice to be recognized for the things that you achieve with stampin up now we need to put that disclaimer out there that the top 0.1 percent of the company actually um achieve these levels in their stamping up business now um i have done that um i've been number two now for i think about three or four years running i'm not quite sure um but it's really really nice to be recognized for that and um and we actually did have some numbers so that was the one thing that i i wanted to chat with you about is the um the number of demonstrators that actually earned the incentive trip out of 48,000 demonstrators, 384 people earned the incentive trip. So out of 48,000 demonstrators to be in that top 300, well, top 400, really, um, that is, um, yeah, I did have my own parade, Sheila, exactly. Um, and, and, you know, like, in all honesty, they were devastated that it happened and I was devastated too, but you know, things happen, things get missed and things happen. But you know, it is, it is really, really nice to actually go to an event like that where they celebrate you and they shout from the rooftops um, and, and cheer you on with your achievements. And it's a company that is, I think, really, really awesome for that. And um, I actually, it's, it's funny because I've achieved those levels by just sharing what I love. I actually love crafting so much that I want everyone to love crafting just as much as me. So to achieve those levels is really, it's just a byproduct of me sharing what I love. And I mean, what's not to love with Stampin' Up? We have awesome products. We have awesome starter kit deals. Um, it is really, really nice to be a part of the crafty community. And I'm, I'm really about the crafty community. I'm 
I'm physically all about um, building our team and building that crafty community. So, um, oh, thanks, Michelle. Um, it's, it was lovely to meet you finally in person as well. Um, but, and Sheila, exactly, you're starting to feel, um, I know that you've only just joined Stampin' Up! And I'm so glad that coming to my I Love Stamping Night that I encouraged you to be able to join Stampin' Up! And that there's nothing to be scared of because there's not anything to be scared of. It's actually really, um, it's more about being a part of a crafty community and being helped with your crafting and feeling like you belong to something. Like now Stampin' Up! We're actually talking about um, about um, bridging the gap and um, um mind the gap you know like and and so what they were saying is you know we've got gaps please help people to come into your circle let there be gaps available and let them come into your circle and that's inviting people to come and be a part of stampin up and that's actually what it's all about being a part of that crafty community all right let's get on to the product because you keep thinking probably that i'm rambling here and i know that i am but there's been so much that's been going on all right so i want to bring in our ribbons that are in those colors so you can see how awesome these ribbons are because when you see the ribbons you can see how beautiful so um each ribbon is uh, i'm going to talk to you about this color color wheel as well there's a color wheel in our new catalog and it's really awesome and it's going to help you with your crafting it really is um so these are the new in color ribbons so they're a beautiful um well, I think you probably call them, it's called bordered ribbon, but um, a beautiful textured ribbon. Uh, and they've got that gorgeous stitching on the on the side. So let me open one of them so you can actually see um, the stitching on the side. And I know that you all, this is the test of actually seeing if the ribbon is really awesome, how well it ties a bow. So well, let's tie a bow with the ribbon. So I just want to show you that up close. So you can see it's got stitching on the outsides and it's just a beautiful ribbon. The stitching is very um, the, the stitching is very shiny, so it's very satiny. Um, so let's tie a bow because this is how we want to make sure that the ribbon is really awesome, is how good it ties a bow. And oh, and you know what? Look at how awesome that is. Ties a perfect bow. Look at that absolutely stunning so we've got them in all of the five colors now i will be doing an in color club so if you are thinking that you want to get your hands on these and you're thinking how can i buy all the products the in color club is really awesome so um what it actually works out is we spread it out over five months so when you spread out um the in colors over five months what will actually happen is each month you will get everything to do with the in colors i'm going to bring all the in color um, products in so you can see so each month you will actually get one of everything in the in color in one color so in other words one month you'll get all shy sh shamrock you'll get the um marker i'll bring them all in so we've got blends we've got stamper right markers We've got blends in each color. So um, what one's that one? Shy Shamrock there, that one, uh, that one, that one, and that one. Okay, you've got um, re – we haven't got re yet. Uh, they weren't – well, I didn't see them on the pre-order list. But anyway, we've got these gorgeous embellishments, and you've got the ribbons. You've also got the cardstock. So I just want to show you all this. So in the in colors – as I said, in the In Colour Club, you will get one of everything in the um, In Colours. Okay, and this is, oops, there's a colour in there that I haven't talked to you about yet. This is all the colours in the cardstock as well. So um, as you can see, um, to purchase all of these things, there will be reinkers as well that go with your ink pads. Um, so I will also include that in the In Colour Club as well. Now you're going to ask me what's the price. I haven't worked out the details of the price yet, but I will let you know as soon as I get it all sorted and I get myself back into gear, I will actually let you know. But that will actually be starting when the catalogue goes live. Okay, so if you want to be in the In Colour Club, it doesn't matter if you're a hobby demonstrator, 
whatever. If you are a customer, um, it's an in color club that I will be offering, and um, I will be taking registrations for those um, throughout the month of April. And I will, I can't order anything until the catalog goes live. So I'll be ordering the the products at the beginning of May, and your in color club will start on the month of May, towards the end of the month, and then each month you will collect one colour. So in other words, you will get the Shy Shamrock, um, you will get the ink pad, you will get the reinker, you will get that, you will get the Stamp and Write marker, you will get the ribbon, you will get, um, I normally do a mixture pack of the cardstock, so I will do four sheets of the cardstock. Um, sorry, four sheets, that's four, um, four sheets of the coloured cardstock. Um, and there will actually be, there is, there's in colour designer series paper as well, and that will be added to it as well. So there we go. So the in colour designer series paper, I will show you that in a minute. Um, so that's what the in colour club is all about. Um, I'm not getting any comments. So can someone comment? I don't know whether you're all quiet and you're not commenting, but comments have stopped and I'm not quite sure why they've actually stopped. So I don't know whether you're all intensely listening or um, or comments have just stopped. I'm not quite sure. Okay, so um, let's look at the in colour. So I've more or less showed you everything that comes. These are gorgeous. These are beautiful. Um, okay, so Margaret says she's watching. Okay, pretty ribbon, awesome. Okay, comments are starting again now. Are you listening carefully, Christine? I know. I was like, what is going on here? Hey, Janelle, welcome. Um, okay, all right, so let's look at the in color DSP. So I've showed you more or less, I mean, like ink pad colors and things. They all look, um, I mean, an ink pad's an ink pad, isn't it? You know, like um, I've showed you what the ribbon looks like, I've showed you what the paper looks like. Um, I will do a more in-depth with the in colours. I'll do a more in-depth because I like to actually compare the colours to other colours because um, Sue says she likes the new colours because it's really nice to actually see them compared to other colours because sometimes you might look at something and say, oh, wow, I really think that that looks like this colour. And then when you put them side by side, you realise that they don't look anything like it. So, um, so the new in-colour paper is stunning. So we've got two different patterns. So this is, um, I, I'm not even used to the names just yet, but um, this is the light pink. Well, let's just call it light pink. <laughs> um, sorry, and then this is the other side of this one. So the in-colour paper is gorgeous. So in your in-colour, you will actually get um, one sheet of each of these. So I'm just going to show you what you will get. You'll get one sheet of those. You'll get one sheet of this one and one of that one okay so they're the same pattern just all in the colors you'll get one sheet of that one so you get a quarter share of everything and one sheet of that one don't you just love this color i think it's it's such a fuchsia type of color so we've got the back side of that you'll get one sheet of that you get another sheet of that um same thing with this one you'll get a sheet of that and a sheet of the other second pattern, which is that one there. Okay, so you'll get four sheets of cardstock. You will get one sheet of each of those in the in colors. Okay, so you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, duh, two fives are ten. Um, ten sheets of design series paper. Um, okay, I did have a ball in um, Melbourne. Um, you're not a demonstrator anymore, are you, Kay? Um, Kay was some, one of the demonstrators I met. I was actually only talking about this, Kay. I was talking about how we met in the Gold Coast. The Gold Coast was my first on-stage event that I ever went to, and Kay actually sat at my table. I was at the table. I didn't know anyone, and the beauty of Stampin' Up! is everyone accepts you. Everyone takes you under their wing and treats you like they've known you forever. Now, each and every person, sadly, one of the ladies has passed away um, from that table, but Kay was sitting at that table, and um, I don't know whether you remember Wendy Hodkinson. Kay was sitting at that table, and Wendy and I still see each other at every onstage, still give each other a big hug and catch up and have a good chat. Um, okay, so in colours done. In colour club will be coming. Now there is also 
I mean, talking about ribbon, <laughs> we have this beautiful ribbon here. This is a ribbon combo. Now, this ribbon combo is called, it's petal pink and it's white. Um, petal pink and white diagonal trim combo. Now, look at this ribbon. It is satiny. It's got a beautiful diagonal um, pattern on it, textured pattern on it, and it's in petal pink and white. Now, we've been wanting, we've been needing a white ribbon because what's the one thing that you can do with a white ribbon? You guessed it. You can colour it to whatever colour you want. So I'm super excited that we actually have this gorgeous white ribbon that is now um, going to be available in our new annual catalogue. Um, and it comes in the ribbon, in the in the combo, the ribbon combo pack. So you get two of those. So as you can see, two in one pack. Um, so I, I did... I did actually stock up on these ribbons and things because, you know me, I like ribbon. Um, Deborah says that she loves the new colours, yeah. Um, and and as I said, like joining Stampin' Up, if you, if you like these products, you can actually physically join Stampin' Up next month, spend $169 and get to choose $235 worth of product and you can put any of these products, the new in colors, anything into your starter kit. So you choose your starter kit and then you enjoy a 20% discount. Now, I have had a lot of um, people that have been saying, um, I don't want to join Stampin' Up because I'm not good with computers, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I, I have had team members that have definitely overcome their fear of computers because I've actually helped them. I've actually... Um, walked them through how to order, how to set up their demonstrator portal. I've actually helped them do all of that and and help them really get over their fear of computers because I've said to them, I will step you through it step by step on the phone. So if that is a reason why you think I don't want to join Stampin' Up because I'm not good with computers, I will help you overcome that. So that's one thing that I want to let people know. And um, I there, there's a couple of my team members that have had real issues when it comes to dealing with computers and things. And I know I've got parents that are 81 and 80 years of age. So I know that computer gap. I know, and I didn't really be, I wasn't really brought up with computers either. Um, can't wait to be able to order the new product, says Donna. Yes, it is awesome. All right, so do you want to go paper next? What do you want to do, paper or bundles? Type it into the comments. Do we want to do paper or bundles? I will talk to you about this new colour while we're working out whether we want to do paper or bundles. So this is a new colour that is called Basic Beige. Now, you may look at it and go, why in the world? And I just had a team member that was here visiting me, um, one of my good friends, um, that she I've been away for a couple of weeks and it's the first time that we've seen each other. So she's been visiting me and she went through all of my product purchase premiere. Um, so, um, okay, so we've got one, two, three for bundles. Um, if I can't do it, anyone, if I can do it, anyone can. Exactly, Sheila. So Sheila was someone that came to one of my stamping events. And honestly, um, you just need the right person. You just need the right person to help you overcome that fear. Okay, it looks like bundles it is because um, bundles, there's been more choices for bundles. Okay, so this one here is just a new basic beige and I think we really needed this because it's lighter than crumb cake, it's different to crumb cake. It's actually um, it's actually not as warm as crumb, crumb cake, so it's actually like crumb cake has a very golden tinge to it. This is a very neutral beige. So, um, so it's actually, I, I think there's definitely a call for it. Um, when we, when we looked at it, when you first see it stamped, you think, Ooh, do I like that color? It's a little bit like wild wheat. Do I like that color? But when it dries, it dries a lot lighter and it's, it's a lovely color. So, um, I think you will definitely like it. Now, this is a beautiful, um, color wheel. Now, I mean, we were lucky enough that when we attended on stage that we we got this interactive colour wheel. The colour wheel is in the catalogue, but it's not an interactive colour wheel like this. But what I want to show you is when you see these little things here, you can see that all of those colours will go together. So there's different um, there's different analogies. This one here is analogous. Uh, 
I, I don't know how to even say that. This one here is complementary. Now, if I turn this color wheel, see how it says complementary? It shows you four colors there that complement each other. It also shows you four darker colors there that complement. Now, if I turn it around to say blues, bam. See how you've got four blues that will complement each other? And then I could turn it around to greens and we can have four greens that complement each other. I could turn it around to these warmer tones. We can go here, we can go here, we can go here. So can you see how the color combinations with this color wheel, I'm super excited about this color wheel. I'm hoping that there will be a way to purchase a color wheel like this. I know that at the moment there is no way of purchasing it. We were lucky enough to get one at on stage and that's that's one of the perks of going to these on stage events but look at that look at that even the reds and the purples together um and 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 elegus and and elegus and elegus <laughs> say that really quick um so katrina saying is the beige similar to sahara sand i think it is katrina yes and uh, Sahara sand, I loved Sahara sand. I used to use Sahara sand more than I would actually use crumb cake. Um, so I was super excited to actually um, to actually have it. Now monochromatic, monochromatic, all blues, um, complementary. Um, yeah. So um, there's there's really awesome. I, I think this color wheel is fantastic. All right. Um, okay, so bundles was what you asked for. So let's look at the bundles. Okay. So, of course, we have for the ocean lovers here. I'll just pop my bundles there. For the ocean lovers, or well, they're all going to fall. Um, we have seaside wishes and we have a hybrid embossing folder. So for anyone that's brand new, hybrid embossing folders are where you use the dies and the embossing folder together. Um and um katrina it was your favorite as well the color wheel yeah i think it's it's going to be a definite addition to everybody's um craft room seaside wishes so for the seaside lovers we've got an embossing folder and then of course we've got dies that will go in the embossing folder so it will mean that these three um what would we call them are they um what are they called for the ocean lovers um i thought it might say it aren't they called sea dollars or something something like that um, but as you can see you can do some nice intricate pieces overlays and then this large piece here will actually fit into sand dollars yeah money dollars i was close joanne um so sand dollars so um a couple of different size sand dollars and you can see there that you can emboss them you can put intricate pieces we've got beautiful starfish i think it's absolutely a gorgeous set for those people that are ocean lovers and um that are right into beachy themed things so hybrid embossing folders i always love hybrid embossing folders um for the simple fact to be able to cut and emboss at the same time um so that, yeah the starfish is gorgeous isn't it okay so that is for the ocean lovers so that's one bundle um i'm just going to keep popping them over one side so i know what i've done uh this one here is from a big mega suite the country birdhouse so i think it's super super cute it's got some gorgeous paper i'll show you the paper in a little while um, but it's a mega suite. There's actually another set that is um, that goes with it as well. So absolutely beautiful dies. You can see here the, the gorgeous bird lends to colouring with blends. So if you're a blends colourer, you're going to love this set. If you're a country birdhouse, a bird lover, you're going to love this set. Um, but some beautiful sentiments as well. Lovely scripting writing, script writing, the running writing with the typed um, font I think is really really um, I love the difference in those fonts because it really um, makes like even just hello friend look at that the hello in the typewriter font and then the scripty running writing friend absolutely stunning I'm gonna love this texture stamp you all know me with texture stamps lovely um, like a branch stamp here but gorgeous um, dies to match okay 
So country birdhouse. Um, so you'll see some crafting happening with these in time to come. Oh, embossing folders. I'm going to leave those embossing folders because there's news about embossing folders that you're going to go, what, when you see it. Um, what do we got here? So we've got Flowers of Beauty. This is another big mega suite as well. Um, Flowers of Beauty and we've got the matching dies. You get me every time um, we have flowers. You all know me. I love flower stamps. I love flower dies. Um, so you get me every time when it comes to these. Um, excuse you. Theo's decided that he wants to chew my paper. Look at these gorgeous dies. Now, one of the things that they showed us at on stage, this here, don't you just love these dies that you can cut out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, four, six, eight flowers. So you can cut out 16 flowers at a time. Absolutely fantastic for when you're cutting kits. So for people that are holding classes and things, fantastic for that. But also fantastic for cutting embellishments to go on to your projects because you get, um, as I said, 16 flowers there by one run through the die cutting machine. So we all love things that allow us to work smarter, not harder. So we've got some gorgeous foliage pieces there. We can cut out these stamped images. And as you can see, there's three different stamps here that you, four different stamps that you can layer up on each other. Um, same with the flowers as well. So um, stunning, stunning set. I'm still trying to work out what I'm actually going to use for my two-day retreat in July because we will be using brand new product out of this annual catalog for my retreat in July. Now, there is a link if you were thinking about participating in my retreat in July. There is a link in the show more box down below for my two-day retreat. Cost $2. dollars oh, 2 dollars 20 You'd all love it if it cost $2.20. $220. Now, this is a set that goes with that country birdhouse. This is the country flowers that goes with that set as well. So as I said, it is a mega suite um, and it has two bundles in that suite. The beauty of our suites is that you can actually order with one order code and you can get the whole suite, which is really fantastic. It saves you having to type in all of the things. Now, you can see here we've got gorgeous pots, We've got teapots, we've got beautiful flowers that you can pop that. Like, honestly, some of the projects that I've seen with this already is just stunning. So um, you'll be able to mix and match flowers, greenery, um, in a teapot, in a, in a um, um, what would you call that? Um, a, a can, um, yeah, a flower pot, um, but absolutely gorgeous. Once again, beautiful sentiments here with heartfelt sympathy. So it's going to be a great sympathy set. Um, best friend forever, sending love, so lucky to know you. So some great sentiments, um, really, really good for someone that's starting out with colouring. I think they would love something like this stamp set. We've got beautiful dies here. And as you can see, Stampin' Up! is so awesome. A milk pail. There you go. Um, thank you, Lorraine. Um, but as you can see, Stampin' Up! are actually doubling up on our dies and tripling up on our dies to help us with our crafting. So here we've got quite a few leaves. We can cut out quite a few flowers all at once, which is great. We've got two of those leaf dies. So Stampin' Up! are listening to us. They're actually, they're actually doing the things that we ask them to do. So for the people that do um, classes and things and cut kits and for me doing my monthly stamps club kits and things is so much better when we have more than one die to be able to cut out the same flowers so um, country flowers set absolutely gorgeous set so as I said that's in the mega suite so that actually goes with that birdhouse one as well all right um, the next one I'm doing really good here okay thoughtful wishes now, I think this goes, um, no, this one's on its own, I think. Thoughtful wishes. So we've got um, some beautiful foliage stamps here. Um, beautiful sentiments, dearest friend, thinking of you fondly. Thanks, missing you. You make my life, you make life better. I appreciate you. So a great friendship stamp set. So um, so I think it, this will be a really good um set that you can have because it's really awesome to be able to send our friends some cards to make their day especially if they're going through a hard time or 
um, or you just want to make them smile for the day, getting some happy mail in the post. So uh, we've got some beautiful dies that go with this. Now, this die here, stunning, absolutely stunning. I I mean, this, even for scrapbooking, I think scrapbooking, scrapbookers will love this die for embellishing their pages. Um, but also, too, it's a, an embellishment that you can cut apart. You can have it as um, a single embellishment. I, I think you'll absolutely, I, the dies really get me. I'm physically, um, when I look at a bundle, I look at the dies and a lot of the time, um, you may think, I don't know whether I really like that stamp set, but I really like the dies. I always buy them in a bundle because you save 10% by buying them in the bundle. But sometimes I look at them and I think, oh, wow, I would really, really like those dies. The stamp set's like, mm, maybe, but I still buy it as the bundle anyway. But sometimes people might just, a scrapbooker might say, you know what, I could buy those dies because we've got a beautiful branch, we've got beautiful leaves here, we've got this gorgeous um, piece here we've got flower here we've got leaves that we can pop on you know um, so sometimes the dies might be just the go or the whole bundle itself but um, both the stamp and the dies I love I, I mean I love these images here um, this one looks a little bit like a thistle like thistles here in Australia they look like um, you can probably color those thist thistly bits purple and have um, maybe lost lagoon or something as the stem of it but yeah, cute set. Okay, next one we have, oh, now this is the one that I actually got. Um, we had a crafting after dark session and this is actually the bundle that I chose as my bundle. Now, I love this lined images. Uh, I did actually make a card like <laughs> there was like three cards for us to make I made one um, I was happy just to make the one I, I really it was my first night there and I really wanted to hang out and chat with people um, but I loved this stamp set not only for the stamp set I actually loved the dies now I did have someone say oh I was going to order that but I didn't like the dies now I think Maybe people might overlook these dies and not realize their full potential. But I can tell you, these dies are stunning. They are all different. They are all circles that will nest inside themselves. Um, you can make frames. You can make circles. You can use this for so many things. Now, what attracted me to this bundle was the dies. Okay, so once again, as I said, sometimes you can look at something and say, you know what, maybe I don't like that stamp set, but I really love the dies. I loved both. I thought that they were really, really awesome. I love the lined images. I love the texture stamp. I love the butterfly. Um, there's a couple of texture stamps. Um, very few sentiments, but that's okay. You can mix and match with other sentiment stamp sets that you have. But look at these dies. They are absolutely gorgeous. So you can cut out frames. You can cut out just circles with a decorative edge. So I think they are always um, um, anything like this. I see that they are worth their weight in gold because that's a lot of different types of circles that we can actually put onto our projects. Um, shame they don't always make the dies rectangle so they fit into the stamp case. Yeah, exactly. But what I actually do, Christine, is I actually I cut a magnet and I put them in there on the magnet anyway so that they will sit in the stamp set because that's actually how I store my dies people ask me that and it's so that I can pick that bundle off the shelf and I can go okay that's the matching dies they're all in there ready to go so the big ones sometimes I leave them in their case and I sit them in my in my storage unit right beside the stamp set so that when I pull them out I know that that's the big die set or sometimes I cut some magnets and put two sheets of magnets in there and actually um, spread them out between two sheets of magnets and it's just because some of the dies are too big to fit in just that rectangle spot. But um, I do agree. I understand where you're coming from. All right. Now, this set, okay, this set here is gorgeous. Now, you all um, 
no, I know that you all fell in love with the Enduring Beauty. When I used the stamp set Enduring Beauty and we used the, the layering mask, you all fell in love with it. Now, this is another set that you're going to fall in love with. I can honestly tell you um, I will showcase this because this is stunning, this stamp. The stamp is really large too, so you need to look at how large that stamp is. So it's a very large stamp, but it's... it's um, on um how can i show you hang on i get a layer that goes on the front of the card so this is my normal basic layer that will go on the front of a card you can see it will fit onto your normal layer on your card so it is designed that it, it will actually fit on your card front um, but it's a very large flower stamp now i want to show you something that's really really cool in this stamp set i mean in this die set so we've got masks. We've got the decorative masks that are that are actually going to colour that flower. So um, it will give you beautiful coloured flowers. And I can tell you, they showcased it at on stage, and the flowers that she actually coloured were stunning. And I mean, that's where that colour wheel coming into to play, getting your um, your colours um, stunning. But I want to show you, there's actually this die here. So this is what I wanted to talk to you about. So we not only have the large die that's going to cut out, so let's just place it on here. Um, you got to love it when they're new, coming off that sticky layer. Okay, so this die, I mean, it's not cut to, I mean, the, the flower's not cut to frame. But you've got this piece here that will cut out that flower just there, okay? So it's actually going to cut out that flower as well. Now, it means that you can make a 3D flower, okay? So you can stamp the image twice and you can cut that out or you can stamp it once and actually cut it out and then pop it up. So it's totally up to you how you do it. Um, but I, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the fact that you can cut the flower apart with that extra die. So um, you want this set, Sheila? Sheila, uh, so you obviously didn't go to on stage because you would have had to travel to Australia to come to on stage. Um, other dies in the in two sets interchangeable. Can you use the dies from one set inside the dies of the other set? Okay, so you're talking about the circle dies, Marilyn? Um, I would have to get them out and play with them, but um, I'm positive that they will interchange like that, yeah, um, because they're both the same size circles. Um, but we will have a play with them. So um, coming up in the next couple of weeks, we'll definitely have a play. But I love the fact that you can actually stamp this image, you can stamp it twice, you can actually pop that one up on top of the flower and you will have this flower here raised up. Um, so I love, love, love that idea. Now I'm going to have to try and put this back on here and I have no idea how it, oh, there we go, there and there. Look at that. Um, so, yeah, I think it's um, a great die set. I love the fact that it's got those masks that we can colour with. Um, it makes us look like we can colour like a pro and it's the masks that do it for us. So um, that all comes in the bundle. So if you actually order the whole bundle, <laughs> Katrina, I do, my list is growing. If you actually order the whole bundle, you will get the decorative mask, uh, sorry, the mask that go with it, the Layers of Beauty decorative mask. You will also get the stamp set and you will get the dies that match. So that all comes in one bundle. Um, so just a, a reminder, when you actually buy, purchase a bundle, you get 10% off. So, um, yeah, you were asking about the circles, Marilyn, I thought that. Um, so beautiful, beautiful stamp set. All right, what next this one goes with the other love one that we had what was that um it's not the layers of beauty it was something else flowers of beauty layers of beauty i don't know um it comes in a suite anyway unbounded love we have got a sentiment bundle here that is definitely going to be a go-to hope is believing in a brighter tomorrow Love never gives up. Faith is being sure of what we cannot see. Best of luck. Peace makes the world a better place. You're a true blessing. Little one, friend, you've got this. Feel better soon. Celebrate. Hello, you are loved. Friend, you may, uh, may all your wishes come true. Have a blessed day with sympathy. Happy birthday to you and yours, just for you. My heart goes out to you. What 
a sentiment stamp set. I am telling, hey, Sue, how are you going? Sentiment stamp set, absolutely gorgeous. Lovely to meet you in person, Sue, in Melbourne. Um, it's it, it was really, really nice to actually put faces to names, you know, like all these years I've been doing videos and I haven't been able to meet these people in person. And look at the dies that go with this set. What a beautiful set. Gorgeous label dies. So even, even if you didn't want the sentiments, the dies are gorgeous or vice versa. The dies are gorgeous if you didn't want the sentiments. But, you know, um, I mean, a, a bundle like this with sentiments and dies, I mean, lordy, lordy, there is so much that you can actually do with this gorgeous set. So um, so really, really happy um, about this set. Now, it does, as I said, it does go in a whole suite of products. Um, I feel like it's um, Flowers of Beauty and Unbounded Love. Uh, there, there's something. Um Oh really, Sue? Yeah, um, it was a lot of a lot of walking and a lot of going from to and fro. Um, so that is a gorgeous bundle. Now that is the end of my bundle, sadly, because that's all I can afford to purchase. Um, but there will be more to come. I'm sure in in pre order time, I'll order a few more different things. Um, uh, some of these dies here, Lorraine. So Lorraine's saying that we can also layer up some of these dies as well. Um, yeah, like as you can see here, this one will fit inside this one. Um, gorgeous. Um, the ovals, yeah, absolutely stunning. A gorgeous, gorgeous set. I think it's it's definitely going to be a staple in our craft rooms. Um, so the next thing is our paper. So we need to go through paper and we need to go through bling. Oh, before we go through the paper, I wanted to bring your attention to uh, we have a new embossing folder called the Islet 3D Embossing Folder, and for some reason I've got two of those. Um, I must have ordered two. I, it probably came in a suite, and then I ordered it on its own, so I actually have two of those. But anyway, are you ready for this? You're going to go, you're going to be absolutely amazed when I show you this. Look at the size of these embossing folders. Look how big they are. They are huge. Um, exactly, Marilyn. Marilyn said, I'm so glad that this is an annual catalogue because you've got 12 months to purchase things out of it, which is really, really awesome. Um, so as you can see, we've got a beautiful spiral. It's called Dotted Circles 3D Embossing Folder. Um, now, I'm assuming that those circle dies will probably work in conjunction with this one as well. We've got this beautiful So Swirly Embossing Folder. I love embossing folders. You know me. I love texture. I love um, being able to do it. But this gives us a huge platform. So let me see. They are six inches by nine. Six by nine inches, people six by nine inches so they are as wide as our platform in our cut and emboss and as long as our platform i'm assuming so six by nine huge huge embossing folders so my attitude would be i'm looking at you would probably get two card front sizes out of one embossing so once again saving us time saving us energy by running it through once and being able to have probably two card base sizes with that all right, so um, the next thing is paper. Oh, I have this, which is um, some cards and envelopes. Now, they've got a new type of um, way that the catalogue is set out, and there's a new section that is called Quick and Easy, or and actually it's not Quick and Easy, it's called Mix and Match, okay? So some of these, I don't think I have scissors here. I don't. Can you believe I don't have a pair of scissors here? I took them away with me and I haven't unpacked it. So I'm going to try and open these as best I can without a pair of scissors. All right. So let me see if I can tear into that. I have to tell you a funny story. So, I mean, people always comment on my fingernails. So while I was away with mum and dad, we at the Country Music Festival, they have a thing called Mini Olympics and they do it every year at this country music um, festival. And one of the things was throwing a boot. You had to throw this gum boot over a line to score some points. So, of course, Donna lines up and goes, yep, I can throw the boot. I was worried and I did think about it beforehand that I thought, I'm going to break a nail doing this. Um, 
look at these cards and envelopes. So we've got five different card bases. Okay, so five different card bases and five envelopes to match. So how gorgeous are these? So this is for quick and easy crafting. Now there's lots and lots, I didn't order them, but there's lots and lots of ephemera packs. So ephemera packs, people say to me, what is an ephemera pack? So an ephemera pack is a pack of embellishments. That's what it is. Packs of die cut, pre-cut, um, pre-printed, um, pre-cut die cuts. And it's for quick and easy crafting. Now they're, they're sort of um, looking at scrapbooking layouts, having some embellishments to be able to use on scrapbooking. I'm going to leave that until I can put them in properly. Um, leaving, um, they're, they're sort of concentrating on having some embellishments to be able to scrapbook with. Um, so there's lots and lots of different um, reasons why you would use an ephemera pack. So easy, quick card making. They actually did a thing. Now, I can't remember... I put it in my notes. I remember um, they called um, this, it was really funny because I was like, oh my God, I actually need to, um, I actually need to, where are we? Ah, okay. So they actually said with these ephemera packs that you could do a class and they actually called it get what you get and don't throw a fit class. And I thought that was absolutely awesome. Get what you get and don't throw a fit class. And it's where you actually put um, a whole envelope with bits and pieces and they have to pull out one thing and they pull out one thing that's got card bases, one thing's got embellishment, you know, like, and they actually make a card from those things. And I thought that would be such a fantastic thing to do at a retreat. So that I've got that in my mind, um, but it's about quick and easy crafting. So um, Don, Donna says the embossing folders are awesome. Exactly. Okay, so now this is paper that is called Thoughtful Journey. Now, I didn't buy um, the whole suite with this, but the paper is absolutely gorgeous. So it reminds me of, remember the On the Horizon paper? I mean, these papers are stunning. So we've got that scene on that side. You're actually going to love this paper and that scene on that side. Now, these papers alone make beautiful cards, I'm telling you, beautiful cards. But I'm nearly positive there is an ephemera pack that goes with this as well or some memories and more cards and envelopes but there is something that you can actually make some good things i actually did my pre-order and the reverse side i actually did my pre-order um on thursday morning while i was waiting to get onto the airplane so i did my product purchase premiere before i even seen any of the products so that's how how thrilled I was with the product purchase premiere that I actually just did my order. And then the sad part was I spent my money and then when I was at on stage, I then thought, oh, no, I want that. Oh, no, I want that. So talking about your list is growing, mine's still growing, um, even though I've ordered all of these products. So absolutely stunning paper. I I love these papers because they're very much watercolory um, scenes. That's that's more or less how I can put it. Watercolory scenes, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. So, um, and seeing these papers like this, it's very hard to see papers when they're in a catalogue. Um, it's always good to be able to see papers um, shown like this because you can actually see both sides. You can see exactly um, what you're getting. Where in a catalogue, you get to see half of it. It's nice to see the whole thing. Okay, so we've got a bit of wild wheat happening there on the back. These colours I love. I love blues and greens like this together and I love the next one, the blues and the purples or, or mauves. Um, look at that colour on the back. Oh, I, I just colour, like paper like this, it just, it, it's so yummy I want to eat it. <laughs> I know it probably won't taste real nice, but it's so yummy I want to eat it. Like look at that. You could cut that in half and do two card fronts. Absolutely stunning scenes. Beautiful background paper. Um, this one here, once again, cut it in half. You've got two scenes happening there. So we've got that and then the reverse side. Stunning. Looks like water and, a, and, and the skyline. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful flowers. Hey, Kathy. 
welcome beautiful flowers so you can easily see why you'd want to purchase the starter kit like if you want to get these products the starter kit is the way to go it's like $235 worth of product I mean I can tell you what I'm showing you here is about a thousand dollars worth of product so it's a fair bit um, what I'm showing you here but when you get the oh, look at that oh isn't that just gorgeous um, but when you get the starter kit, you get so much more for your money, plus then you can actually place orders and get 20% discount straight away. Absolutely stunning paper. So that paper is called Thoughtful Journey Paper. Um, I think it's going to be a top seller, just like our On the Horizon paper was. Um, now this one, this next one is actually a paper that goes with that country I'm nearly positive. I'm not, don't quote me on it, but I think it goes with that countryside. Um, what was it called? Um, the country flowers and the other one. So beautiful neutral paper, I think is gorgeous. <laughs> Kathy, oh my God, the DSP is gorgeous. Exactly. Hey, Jiminy, thank you for joining. Um, beautiful. Um, yes, I will do a paper share as well, Christine. Yes, um, um, yes, I'm definitely doing paper shares. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do in color clubs. I'm gonna do paper shares. I'm also going to do ribbon and embellishment shares as well. Um, so I've just got to get the details. And if you're on my email list, if you're not on my email list, please join my email list. Um, yeah, it goes with the birdhouse set. Thanks, Lorraine. I yeah. I, Honestly, Lorraine, I haven't had time to actually sit down. I know I ordered all this and I knew what went with each other when I ordered. I haven't even had time to sit down and go through the catalogue. Um, so I'm actually going to try and do that this afternoon sometime. So gorgeous paper, beautiful, subtle colours. Hey, Christine, welcome. Beautiful, subtle colours. This looks like denim, doesn't it? Denim pants. Absolutely stunning. Okay, so... That one is called Country Lace DSP. So it does look like lace. Um, this paper, oh, I'm going to do this one because this one's the other one that goes with it, Country Woods. We all love a bit of timber, don't we? Don't we love the timber paper? I know the timber paper's always been very, very popular. This is awesome because it's got old timber. Some, some of them have old timber on one side and new timber look on the other side. Look at this. Now, this here, gorgeous. Look at that. Um, nice charcoal colour. Beautiful timber paper. Um, the wood veneer look. And the really old paint chipped timber. I love these papers. So good for country style cards. <laughs> Kathy, stop it. You need, you know what, Kathy, you just need to join again. Simple as that. <laughs> um, stunning paper. Absolutely stunning. Okay, so that one goes with that country suite as well. So you get the two bundles, you get the two lots of paper. It's gorgeous. Um, it's the whole suite is just stunning. Okay, now um, we'll go the flower one first. Now, this is the one that goes with um, Unbounded Beauty. So this is a good, beautiful suite, gorgeous colours and beautiful florals. So, I mean, if you're a flower lover, you're going to love this paper. <laughs> All good, Cathy. All right, so as you can see, gorgeous bright colours. This is the new in colours that are in here. So you're looking at all those gorgeous in color. So that you're going to need the in color club for a start. So in color club is a great way, as I said, to collect one of each of um, like one of everything in each color each month over five months. So it spreads out your spending a little bit um, and helps you collect um, what you want each month. So gorgeous, gorgeous paper. I love these. Absolutely love those for backgrounds. Stunning. All right, so that one there is called the Unbounded Beauty because I know I bought that whole suite. So um, as I said, once I get to know the catalogue a little bit better, I'll be able to tell you what goes with what. But um, this here, this paper, now, Kathy, you thought that was good. Wait until you see these. These are like an ombre look. Look when you, when you move it. It gives you a different colour as you move it. Can you see that? 
gives you a different color as you move it. So it looks like ombre the way you look at it, okay? Can you see how that changes? It looks like it's light down here. Then you can change it. So we've got that color there, this one here. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? We've got the pinks. Gorgeous. Look at this one. Ah, oh, this one I think has to be my favorite. And this one. Aren't they just stunning? So you get a different look. So it's sort of like that pearlized look and you get a different look um, as the way you look at it. So, um, yeah, really, really stunning specialty paper. Okay, and that one. Gorgeous. They are gorgeous papers, Deborah. I agree. All right, so that one is called Thoughtful Designs. Stunning, stunning paper. So let's pop that back into there so I don't get lost with what's what. Okay. And I'd save the best to last. I mean, we've still got some bling here too, but shimmer paper. Sh yeah, a little ombre look, Kathy. Yeah. Um, you wouldn't want to cut it. Well, then you just buy it, Lorraine. You buy two packs. <laughs> okay, so these are the in color shimmer papers. Oh, stunning. And they are called, what are they called? Just 2024 to 2026 in color glimmer specialty paper. Absolutely gorgeous. So they've said that the colors in it are peach pie, petunia pop, pretty in pink, shy shamrock, and summer splash. So we've got to get used to those names. It'll take me a while. I'll have to keep looking at the ink pads. Look at it. We all love Glimmer, don't we? All love Glimmer. Now, I don't know whether I finished telling you the story about the broken nail. So I did actually throw the boot and, of course, I broke my fingernail into the bargain. Um, well, I actually pulled the whole fingernail off, like, and everybody, I was so, it was so funny. Everybody was looking in the grass for this fingernail and someone found it and I stuck it back on with super glue. So I still have all of my nails, but it was this one here. I lost this one and I could not believe because my father was actually the judge on the boot throwing um, station. And so everyone that came there, he kept saying to them, look for a black sparkly fingernail. We need to find it. And someone actually said to him, um when they were looking for it um something like so was the person picking their nose when they lost their fingernail and dad said no they weren't picking their nose because it happened to be my daughter so he was quite defensive when this person asked was i picking my nose when i lost my fingernail and dad goes no it was my daughter and she wasn't picking her nose like and the fellow went oh i'm sorry but everyone was looking for these fingernails so we've got some gorgeous embellishments here so we've got in color these are 2024 to 2026 in color resin dots. So you can see there all of the five in colors that we have. Um, so there's these and there's also these ones here. So this is a part of the in color that we'll do. I will make sure that I can, um, these are in color shimmer gems. Okay, so we've got two lots of the in colors. These are a bit more pastel looking and these ones are a bit more vibrant. Um, but two different styles of in-colour dots. So that will be a part of the in-colour club that you will get. Um, so each month, as I said, you'll collect one colour. You will get the two rows of that colour. I will cut them and you will get the two rows of that colour each month. Um, so you'll end up getting a full pack of them. You'll end up getting the five ink pads. You'll get the five re-inkers. You will get the five lots of blends. You will get the stamp and write markers you will get the cardstock the designer series paper i might even throw in some of the shimmer paper as well um so that's one lot of the gorgeous gems these ones here i think i'm going to fall in love with totally these are called basic gray and smoky slate pearls look how stunning they are i think these are going to be one of my favorite embellishments out of the brand new catalog um they're going to go with everything um, they're going to be a very versatile set of pearls um, and they are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So, um, and then we also have these ones here and I think that they go with the Love Suite um, 
and they are called adhesive backed pearl trios um, it doesn't tell us what colors they are in there no but as you can see we've got some gorgeous they're they're sort of iridescent type of colored so um so that is my stampin up haul from the brand new 2024 annual catalog that is coming in may now as i said if you actually want to get your hands on any of these products we will be able to order these on um where are we um, Pre-order starts on the 2nd of April. So that's next week, people. Next week, we will be able to order from this gorgeous brand new catalogue. Um, so uh, if you are interested in joining and getting a 20% discount and making the best of that starter kit special, please feel happy to reach out to me. I would be more than happy to help you. I've got a brand new team member today. Um, and thank you. Uh, to that brand new team member for joining. Um, there is no special as far as joining next month, but the, the special about joining next month is that you can actually product buy this product in your Stampin' Up! Starter Kit and choose $235 worth of products, absolutely your choice. So um, I am more than happy. If there's certain things that you've actually looked that um, in the next couple of weeks, I will be showcasing quite a lot of these brand new products. So if there's certain things that you are interested in looking at um, or purchasing in your starter kit, I'm more than happy to be able to send you the item code numbers. When you actually go in to join, it will all come up anyway. So um, so when you actually go to purchase a starter kit, I'm nearly positive that they will come up as things that you're able to choose from. So thank you for hanging out with me. I will be back tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. doing my regular live that I do every morning at 8 a.m. I will be back to normal tomorrow. Um, and we may play with some brand new product. What do you think? Do you want brand new product or do you want other product that we have already? Um, I'm, I'm sure that you'll all type it into the comments. Let me know. Brand new product tomorrow. Do you want me to make a brand new card? Maybe case something out of the catalog from some of those gorgeous products we've um, that I've showed you today? Um, or do you want me to use other things that are still in our mini catalog? New? New, please? I reckon everyone's going to say new. Um, so thank you very much for being patient with me and for the fact that I've been missing in action for so long. And I have missed you guys. Like I physically have mix, missed coming live every morning. I, I was really enjoying coming live every morning and I'm going to be back to normal, as I said, tomorrow morning. I apologize for this morning, but I had quite a lot on. I had business training. I've been up since 3 a.m. this morning. Had business training at 3 a.m. I had a leaders meeting at 6 30 a.m. I had business training with um, my team and my business builders group. Um, and then I had a visit from my friend. I've had lunch. I've now jumped on and done this this afternoon. Everyone's saying new, please, new, please. Okay. I will choose something that I've got out of my pre-order list. I'll get into those nice new colors. So let's use some of the new in colors so that we can give them a run for their money. Um, and I'll choose something out of the gorgeous products that I've got and we will create an awesome card. So I will be live here at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Thanks for hanging out with me. I know that's been a fairly long video this afternoon, but I mean, when you've got these brand new products, you've really got to look at them in depth, talk about them, um, see what they're like. I will do a really nice, good um, overview of the in colors. Um, maybe next week we might do that and um, think of some of the colors that you think that they might be like I don't have any of the old colors so I can't I can't compare them to grapefruit grove I'm, I'm seriously thinking these days that I need to keep a color swatch of old colors that retire just in case um, yeah it is time for a sleep Donna I do agree I'm I'm like physically um, yeah I'm I'm trying to from being in New South Wales and I know it's only one hour's difference but being in New South Wales and being there for like nearly two weeks it's got me so out of whack that um, yeah it'll be nice to actually get back into routine and as I said Theo is quite happy to be home as you can see he traveled not so good on the way down to Gunnedah, but he traveled really, really well on the way home. So I was super proud of him on the way home, but he got quite 
ill on the way down. And I think it was because he was so disrupted. I was away for four days and then I came home and we only had that afternoon and that night and then the next morning I was shipping him off into a cage and and taking him on the road for eight hours. So I think he was in a state of shock and I think that's what happened to him. But on the way home, after spending a week in the motorhome, um, he was quite happy to travel on the way home, didn't hear boo out of him. He was a perfect angel all the way home. But I can tell you when he walked into the house, I carried him into the house and he walked into the house and you could see him and he, you know how you feel when you've been away and you've been in a confined space for so long and to get home again is so nice to be able to walk in the door and actually like, like spread yourself out and go, wow, I've got a whole house. I've got all this room. Mind you, I had a couple of little surprises when I got home. Now, I don't know what this means. Now, if someone knows what this might mean, can you tell me what dies and stamps did you use in your shadow box? Um, what are you talking about the shadow box? Um, Barry, I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. Are you talking about um, the shadow box that's behind me there with the, um, with the there? Um, that's actually, a, it's actually a punch. It's a reef. Is that what you're talking about, Barry? Just type it into the comments and let me know. I'm not quite sure what you're saying. Um, so yeah, it was really nice to actually be home and be able to stre stretch out. And he looked like he was the same. He looked like he was like, thank the Lord that we're finally home. And tell me, what were your thoughts on who won Australian Idol? Was Dylan someone that you thought was going to win Australian Idol? Because I, I physically wanted to keep my eyes open to watch Australian Idol. I couldn't do it. I ended up re-watching Australian Idol, um, early hours this morning when I was trying to get myself back to sleep. I fast forwarded on seven plus to find the end to see who actually won. Um, I'm not going to say anything in case people haven't watched the grand finale, but I was I was so excited for the winner. I, I picked that winner from day one um, and I, I was very happy with um, who the winner was in the end. So, um, um yeah, I, do you know, I like honestly, yeah, honestly, I think um, I think the whole three of them deserve to win. I think the three finalists were really, really, um, really awesome. Like, honestly, I think it could have been anyone's. Like, I, I reckon the voting would have been awfully close. Um, you're sorry you didn't go for coffee with you at on stage. Will next time. Awesome. Are you going to go to on stage Dimity in um in um Brisbane? Because it's in Brisbane next year. I'm super excited about that. I'm actually thinking about so my thought process is doing a demonstrator event before on stage. So doing a class before on stage. So if you're planning on going to on stage next year, I'm actually physically thinking about doing a an event um in Brisbane the day before on stage starts. Um, Dylan originally came from the Sutherland Shire where you live, Marilyn, really. Well, he comes from like Bangalore, which is near where I lived. Um, oh, Kathy, yes, hopefully that would be awesome. I would love it um, for you to be in our team and come back. Um, I, I think obviously you've probably been missing our crafty community. So Kathy used to be in my team um, and was in my team for a very long time. And we spent many times doing retreats and things together. Um, and I miss those times, Kathy. I really do. Uh, there's there's so many memories we made um, having our beautiful two-day retreats and team gatherings and things. Um, okay, so the shadow box in the background, Barry, that is done with, um, it was the sprig punch that we used to have. Um, and all it's, it's three different, three different, um, three three different um, colours of cardstock and you just punch and punch and punch a whole heap of sprig punches um, and put it into a wreath. Um, but I do watch you winemakers, oh, um, when you can, is that what you say? <laughs> I now have tears now. <laughs> I remember, Kathy. do you remember, do you remember our on stage? so sorry, I mean, Kathy and I are friends from way back, do you remember our on stage that we spent at my place and we had on stage and then we rolled into the two-day retreat like and it was like four or five days of us hanging out 
um like honestly and I remember Kathy saying to me she actually you I remember you were in tears when you were leaving and I said what's wrong and you said I just don't want it to end I don't want to go home I want to stay here forever uh, I mean those those times are just priceless they really are and and I mean like I now have an awesome area here in Queensland where I live now and doing the same thing I mean retreats and and classes um um, yeah, it's really, really, um, really awesome, you know, to be able to do those things. All right. So let's say goodbye. Let's see you again tomorrow, 8am tomorrow morning, Queensland time. So for you, New South Wales people and everywhere else, it's going to be, um, 9am your time, but 8am my time. And I will be back here live with some fun crafting, with some brand new products. So, um, let's, Get together tomorrow morning and make a card. I will catch you all later and um, lovely chatting with you and I will see you all again soon. Bye for now.